excellence and importance of saying Amin after the recitation of Surah Fatiha, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who narrates that uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whenever the reciter says Amin and then say Amin, for if a person says Amin coincides with the Amin of angels, his previous sins will be forgiven. Now, uh, about this, I mean, I would also want to talk about another situation that uh, there are two sects according to the manner of saying Amin. There is a sect who says Amin loud, and there is another sect who does not say it aloud. Both the groups not only just tend to stick to their own manner, but they also insist on trying to convert the other to their own. And not only do they limit to this extent, they develop enmity to all those who differ in their manner of saying Amin. And then pathetically, very pathetically, the two sects, they develop enmity, become opponent groups, and they start fighting, shedding bloods, cutting each other's throats, and killing Muslims. Just, just a difference of saying Amin loud and not saying it loud. What are we doing? Where are we heading on to? When we, when we listen to the words of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu saying in his farewell sermon, the life, the blood, the honor, the property of a Muslim is forbidden for the other Muslims. For God's sakes, rather than spending our time, our money, our energies to convert the salah of the other sect to the manner of our salah, let's just work and join hands to invite people to offer salah. There are so many who are just not aware of the importance of salah. There are so many who don't even know the method and the words of salah. So rather than fighting with those who are already offering salah, but maybe with a slight difference from what is our own method, we need to work together to invite those who have never, who have never offered salah, who have never bowed down before the Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all from what is important 